Welcome to an exciting edition of Hidden in the Universal Vault. I'm Ron, your host, and I'm doing something I've never did before because I'm actually covering the latest film uh, from Universal, and this is a sequel to the twenty, yeah, the twenty sixteen Woody Woodpecker film. That's right, I'm covering release this year in twenty twenty four. From Universal 1440, alongside Netflix, Woody Woodpecker Goes to Camp. Now you're probably wondering, where where's the copy at? Well, I watched this on Netflix, and I wanted to cover this one because I really enjoyed the first Woody Woodpecker. So, I'm going to kind of, now, before I go into the review, I want to kind of mention a couple things. One, I didn't really finish this movie. I'm, I did watch a good chunk of it, but it was late. My grandma, my grandmother had to get to sleep. I watched this with my grandmother, so that's the first time I watched it. So I miss a lot of scenes. If I do decide to rewatch it again, I'll do a 30 second short or something and give you my full, full review. But I'll give you my actual thoughts on the film, more or less a review. So now that I got away, let's actually talk about Woody Woodpecker Goes Camp. So in this installment it is the sequel to the 2016 Woody Woodpecker film. And I really enjoyed that one. That was a solid film. This sequel, not so much. I feel like it's more of the same. This time it focuses on Woody who leaves the wilderness and decides he finds a camp called Camp Woohoo. In this installment we got Mary Louise Parker. She plays Angie. Angie is the head of this camp. Then we got, we got another side known as the Hoorahs. So you got the Woohoos and Hoorahs. Essentially it's just the Hatfields and McCoy story. They give you the backstory. Then Woody meets up with this girl, like I said, that uh, her mom runs Camp Woohoo. And it also focuses on the Wilderness Games. Now in this installment we get two additional characters from from that series. From what I've read during production when, it, when I heard this was coming out, I thought, oh, cool, a sequel to it. And I don't know if this was true, but originally one of the cast members they were going to get Jason Ritter in the film, but eventually Mary Louise Parker took over that role. I guess he was supposed to play Zane or something, but it was given to some other guy. I don't know his name. So that's really what was in production. So that's all I knew about it. So when Netflix released it, they, they released it just of this year. So... Back to what I said about the film. So basically, he goes to Camp Woohoo, and basically, there's a rivalry. Then we get two new characters for this. We get Buzz Buzzly, but no, Buzz Buzzard, and Wally Rawls. They're part of the whole Walter Lance, Woody Woodpecker, and Friends. Also, they show Woody making a Chili Willy statue, so that's kind of cool. So... We get sort of these kids, it's set in the summer camp, so it's a very summer camp feel, like sort of like heavyweights. It's kind of like heavyweights, but not really that, but basically that, and yeah, that's pretty much, yeah, and they have to work together, then you got the brains, you got the gamer, you got the goth girl, so you got all these other supporting characters. There's actually more supporting characters in this than the first Woody Woodpecker, which I do like, so... But basically, Angie meets up with uh, Camp Ura, who's run by a man named Zane. So that's really that that character. Can't really talk much about it, but eventually he hires Buzz Buzzley. Zane does, and realize that they um, he is a cook at first. Then he's sort of like the mastermind. He sets up everything. So he orders from a place called Little Gem, which is sort of like all the traps and stuff. And I did fast forward to the ending, so I miss a lot of scenes. Like I said, I can't really fully talk about it, but I got to get a review out, and I really got to get it out today. Well, as you're watching it tonight, I should say. I, I had to get it out. But that said, and the movie was, it was okay. I didn't like this one as much as the first Woody Woodpecker. I feel like that one is better of those two movies. Of those. 
But this one isn't too bad. It's not the worst movie like most people say it is. This is actually, there are some fun moments and some funny, there are some fun moments and there's a lot of jokes, but I feel like some is a little too forced, like they're just trying to shove the jokes. Woody for some reason talks to the audience, and that, that usually was in the old Woody Woodpecker cartoons. And yeah, Woody gets a little too annoying. But I feel the best character in that movie is actually Wally Rawls. So he plays sort of like a camp inspector. So basically he has that who's trying to shut down Camp Woohoo. But Camp Hoorah, who's always won the wilderness games. So yeah, I will say the ending is pretty good. I went straight to see what happened at the end. So like I said again, I couldn't really reviewed that much because like I said it was a late night thing so yeah um like I said this isn't bad but I would say it's not great it's enjoyable for what it is if you like the first Woody Woodpecker you might you might really like this I was hoping as like the first movie but a little more you think with more characters makes a better movie but that's not all true you can have less characters and have a good movie. You can have more characters and have a bad movie. It's not really bad, just an okay average. It's just average. I'm just put that way, it's just average. And like I said again, I can't really talk much about because like I said, I had to rewind. The ending was uh, sentimental. I think the ending was really good. And yeah. And like I said, if I do a 30 second review, maybe I'll go ahead and check this one out again. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about the film. It's not terrible, and if you have Netflix, you can definitely check it out. I'm hoping to do more of these Netflix Universal movies, because this hasn't got a physical release, so I couldn't really, couldn't really watch it to see. Well, I watched it, I just couldn't finish it. So... Yeah, so that's all I'm really, I'm just more or less, just more of a thoughts instead of more of a review, but yeah, that's Woody, that's Woody Woodpecker Goes to Camp. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. This isn't bad, but it's just average. Personally, in my opinion, I would personally rather go watch the first Woody Woodpecker movie more than the sequel, but... If the sequel comes on physical, I'm definitely going to pick it up just to have it in the collection. But yeah, so not much to say, guys. But yeah, that's my sort of review of Woody Woodpecker Goes to Camp. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do like the content in the channel, you can check all my stuff. I Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, uh, check me on Letterboxd. Let me know what you guys think of Woody Woodpecker Goes to Camp. So... Yeah, I guess check it out. If you're a fan of Woody Woodpecker, you might want to check this out. Or if you like the first movie, this one isn't too bad to check out. So, yeah. And as always, keep watching those Universal movies. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.